so welcome to ku tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the modeling of this game assets over here so let's continue it <coughs> so i'll be taking some of the references over here as well i'll just go over here and let's take some references over here okay this is okay how it was like so let's take a cylinder over here like this we can slightly uh, reduce the radius over here reduce its height slightly a bit push it over here so convert to poly so let's go over here and let's create a box over here just push it in this way i'll just duplicate it over here i'll again go over here and we can just make multiple copies over here so i'll just shuffle it down a bit so let's just drag this up so like this let's duplicate it over here <coughs> so let's go into this view and let's take a line so right click on it let's add refine right click and let's smoothen it and you can slightly just drag it down enable in viewport reduce it thickness and we can make multiple copies over here so let's just duplicate it down so drag it in this way after that i'll just save the file once over here and if you want to create something a uh, cloth or something or whatever you can create that as well but you can do it 
from any other view over here so let's take a line tool make it as uh, I okay you can just make it as rectangular or else I can just select the vertices and let's give fillet and let's give an extrude modifier I can slightly just place it over here so we can just push this up in this way so if you want you can add a bit of a shell modifier as well if required we can add the clothes or else it's totally okay we won't add this I'll just make one more house over here something kind of a old again convert to poly so select this let's use some swift loops here as well if you want we can attach it we can just push this up attach it with this select the polygons in this way we can add some loops and bridge it select the vertices let's scale it again select this stuff and again extrude it over here again let's use a swift loop select the polygons bridge it and again extrude it in this axis let's again use a swift loop over here select this whole thing extrude it again till here So let's go to the top view. Again, I'll add one swift loop. 
select the polygons and let us bridge it. So, we can just press R and we can just scale it over here. can just place it in this way. So, select the vertices and we can slightly just push this up. Save the file one more time. Let us take a plane. and let us add a wave modifier. And you have this wave length, we can add this. Let us keep on adding this, I will just delete this. I will just place it over here. Again, I will make a copy of it. Just place it on the top. Again, press shift and we can slightly resize it. again duplicate it. Again, we can just duplicate this and slightly rotate it, scale it. place it uh, in this way and duplicate it. All right. <coughs> so, guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel if you are not subscribed yet. So, we will be finishing this soon and we will start up with the lighting uh, texturing part. So, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel if you are not subscribed yet. So, thanks for watching this tutorial.